Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. Today I woke up and this is the view I got to look at. There is about a foot of snow out there and I figured that today it would be time to do a Canadian get ready with me. Eh? So as a special guest today, my deaf moose decided that uh, he would like to oversee this Canadian get ready with me. And of course, we've uh, we've got our Canadian gear on here. So to start things off, it can get easily minus 30 degrees Celsius here in Canada during the winter. So the first step to a Canadian get ready with me is no liquids or fluids or things that can freeze on your face. This is vital. This is very important. Now also, because it can get so cold and we don't want to waste product, let's be real, to hold one's hair back, you might as well start getting prepared for the day by putting on your toque. Now this is not a beanie. This is not a stocking cap. This is a toque. Now these come in very, a multitude of varieties and styles. You can get the pom-pom on the top, whatever. Now, if you are a single Canadian woman looking to attract a member of the opposite sex, there are a few things to remember. These are the toques that I recommend. They have the hole in the top so that you are able to let people know uh, that you do, in fact, have long hair and could possibly be a woman. Once you get your skidoo suit on to wear, you know, when you're taking your dog sled to the uh, grocery store and you're bundled up, your feminine figure is not so visible to be able to identify you as a woman by breasticles or things of that nature. So this also saves product, holds your hair back because you know, you're not going to have to worry about blending stuff into your, your hairline. So this is a good first step. Now we do things a little bit opposite because there is a couple of fluid, not solid, um, things that we can use on our face. And um, the first one, and I feel this is very important because, you know, I've mentioned this in discussions with a good friend of mine, Carrie, over at uh, Nosy Housefrau, is we need to have our Canadian maple syrup. Now, this is very vital. Today, we'll be doing a monochromatic type look, but you do need your maple syrup to get that contour, to define your face. So what I like to do is I use my foundation palette here that I use to mix foundations or whatnot. And now you just add a bit. Now be careful. If it's not minus 30, it will become quite viscous and fluid. So we take our brush and for this, I prefer to use my, um, my unique brush because, you know, it's crap and I don't care if it gets wrecked. So we just dollop into this maple syrup a little bit here and we start to apply this right along where we would like our contour to be. Now, depending on the type of maple syrup that you get will depend on the tone, shade, undertone of your contour. Now you can go in quite heavy. Now the important thing to remember, and I will get to the setting step, is you can build this up. Don't go in hard at first. You would like this to dry in between um, layers because if you go in too thick too fast and it is cold outside and you smile, your contour will crack. Keep that in mind. So I'll just, woo, I am dripping maple syrup everywhere here. Keep that in mind as you contour all those areas. 
Now around your toque area, don't go too hard. You don't want it too obvious. So just keep it as such. And once you have your contour finished and you feel somewhat snatched, what's great about this is you can snack while you're getting ready. And this is very beneficial for so many ways. Your contour is delicious. So there are companies out there such as Too Faced who like to make their items scented and overly fake scented. That doesn't fly for us Canadian women all the time. We want something we can actually eat. Jeffree Star has this right with his lip scrubs, by the way. So once you have your maple syrup contour on and you've cleaned up the mess you've made with your maple syrup and had your morning snack or breakfast to get you going in the morning, we're almost done with the face. But, you know, we want to have a little bit of color on our eyes. Um, eyeshadows, powder, pressed, they can work. But... If you want to stay with the very Canadian way of doing things and, uh, you know, just stay in yummy, what I would suggest is Saskatoon Jam. Now, Saskatoons are everywhere around where I'm from, and they're delicious. They're easy to work with, they make a great snack, and they also make a great eyeshadow eyeliner combo. Now, I tend to use the same brush just because it's delicious and uh, why not? Why get all fancy? Because it is cold out there. So I will get my mirror out here and uh, we'll just apply some of this Saskatoon Jam. And we're not going for a very crazy look here. As I said, we're going for a more monochromatic type look. So as you can see, you're getting a little bit of payoff. So it's all good. So as we go in with that, we just kind of blend that over the lid and up into the crease a bit. You're not going to want to get this right up to the eyebrow because there does come that issue of when your eyes tear when it's very cold outside, the tears will start to freeze. And if it's up in your eyebrows and your color is up there, everything sticks together and you're just in a big old mess. So we've got our color. We've got our contoured setting. We want to make sure we look after our lips. Now, Jeffree Star Lip Scrub is an excellent option. Always prepare your lips. We don't necessarily want to go for color in Canada just because it is so dang cold. I like to use this Balm Shot Vanilla Mint Loaded with Lip Balm, not Buckshot, Lip Balm. Now, it looks like a little small for 12 gauge, probably a 20 gauge shotgun shell here. And we just make sure our lips are nice and moisturized. So, Mmm, -hmm. that is good. So, also, be careful. Don't put too much of this on. It will freeze. So, we're going to want to set our face with some powder to keep that cracking under control. So, what we can do here in Canada, you can go cut yourself down a spruce tree or pine tree, birch tree, maple tree, whatever it is to help find your right shade of a powder. Now, when you cut it down, you're going to want to let that wood dry for a bit because you don't want the sap in there to be freezing and whatnot. So you let it dry. You can run it through a sawmill or something, plane it down, grind it up. You can even use a smoker for this. Smoke that wood out to get it nice and dry before you grind it down to use it for your powder. So depending on the species of tree, I'll put up some pictures up here over my, my deaf moose here to help you decide and distinguish between those trees you grind it up and you get your powder so you go in with you know another unique brush and uh, you just use that powder to, to set things in place here 
so that it's none too, none too sticky and freeze like. So you'll want to do your eyes as well. Get right up to that toque line. Not on your toque though, because you don't want to have to be laundering that a whole lot extra. So once we've got our face set with powder, there comes a very important step and that'll be your set and spray. Now here in Canada, we have a very special kind of set and spray. So if you give me a minute, I'm just going to go whip that up and I'll be right back. So in preparing for the setting spray, what I did is I got my snowshoes on and I trucked outside and got myself a nice old mug of snow, regular old Canadian snow. Now, a couple things to keep in mind with this step is you're going to want to make sure if you're using a metal mug, such as the one I got here, put on your mitts, your gloves. If not, and your hands are damp, you will stick to the mug. I prefer using this mug because, well, most Canadian and it's got a carabiner on here. So when I'm out snowshoeing or taking my dog sled into town, I can just clip this handy thing there right on my skidoo suit and I am good to go. So the process with this set and spray, you let your snow melt down. And what's so great about this Canadian snow is it's paraben free, it's vegan, cruelty free, all that stuff. There were no beavers or weasels or anything harmed in the making of that snow, which makes our setting spray. So once that snow has melted down, you just put that in a handy little spray bottle. You may have to replace spray bottles. They may freeze up and the nozzle may not work. Keep that in mind. And you just liberally give yourself a once over with that spray. So I'll keep harping on this. Let this completely dry. Do not go outside with a wet face. Your face will freeze and fall off. Your mother was not kidding when she told you that. So your head is nice and warm. You're good. Now we got to get a little bit into some outerwear issues. So give me one moment. The skidoo pants that I prefer to wear, ski pants, snow pants, whatever you prefer to call them, they are by brand called, called Work Gear. Now these are thoroughly lined. They're warm. You can pick them up in any PV Mart, maybe even Canadian Tire. So what is nice about these ones though, is they do zip up at the bottom of the legs so you can fit them up. Do them up over your sorrels to keep your feet warm. In keeping your feet warm, moccasins are almost a must for walking around in the house and whatnot. So once you got your skidoo pants ready here, you slip those on right over top of your clothes. Now for clothing, depending on how warm or cold it is, generally your around the house clothing you will have on your moccasins, your socks, your long underwear, sweatpants, jeans, on the top a brassiere, long underwear type shirt, thermal shirt, t-shirt, hoodie, sometimes even a jacket over that. So now we just get up and get in here into these here coveralls. Now these are only partial coveralls, but that's because sometimes when you're outside working when it's minus 30, you can start to sweat and that's not good because again wet means it's gonna freeze nobody wants that it's not fun so what you need is a good winter jacket now my winter jacket of choice here is by gotcha gotcha glacier now this is a down jacket it's quite large it's got your pockets, you know, because you'll want to carry your jackknife and your tin cup and stuff when you're heading to town. And it's got lots of pockets for mitts, and extra toques, and earmuffs, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, you get that on. And you zip that up. So as you can see, my 
feminine allure has been completely disguised. So, uh, hence why I like to let my my mum bun fly so that uh, I can be easel, easily distinguished as a member of the female sex. So that about uh, sums up my Canadian get ready with me. And I really hope you enjoy today. So I might go and uh, check my beaver traps and feed my dog sled team and Start a nice toasty fire out my igloo before continuing on with my day, eh? So, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this wacky video, and uh, I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.